I remember thinking that it was a lot easier than what it is. I just expected if I played well, then I would probably have a chance of winning and I might win again. World number one amateur, turned pro, went through challenge tour, like flew through it. Following year, I think I had two or three second place finishes in good events and I just felt very comfortable and confident in myself and I felt like I would constantly progress. And um, yeah, it turned out that that wasn't really the case. Struggling with your game and seeing people play really good golf that you just don't seem to be able to do is something that I'd never, I'd never really gone through and never experienced. This game it is so easy to sort of just start trickling off the wrong way, you just get the wrong side of things. I can literally pinpoint my game starting to go. I, I shot three under first round in the open, loved the place, always played well there and I felt like this was a really big chance to do well in, um, in a major. Um, second day turned up, couldn't hit it, I was horrendous and from that day was the downward slope and I, I literally can picture it happening and I can see it from that day, it all went downhill for like a year. And I was half worrying about if I would keep my card because I couldn't see myself making a cut but I kind of had enough up where I knew I'd be comfortable so it was, there was something there in the back of my mind. When you get to that stage you kind of know you need to do something about it. I texted my dad and I just said, Dad, this is really bad, um, what do you reckon? So he just, you know, he said, uh, the only person that knows your swing better than I do, or as good as I do, would be Tomo, which was my old coach. Then I texted Tomo straight after and I said, do you mind if I send you a couple of videos of my swing? I said, it's completely fine. If you don't want to look, it's fine. We haven't worked together for a couple of years. Don't worry about it, but would you mind? He was made up. He said, yeah, of course I will. So I sent him a couple of videos. And then there's like a, at Heswell where he works, there's the range, probably 20 yards to the right is one of the holes. I think it's like the 13th. So he said, just spent two and a half hours on the range, started hitting it all right, go on to the tee. I said, let's just, before you go, let's just hit like a couple of shots off the tee just to get you on the course. Took a four iron out and I hit six shots in a row, 50 yards right into a pond. And, um, at that point, we kind of looked at each other and he said, yeah, all right, that's pretty bad. <laughs> and uh, we, knew we, had, we knew we had work to do from there. And it's still, even when we started working together, we still had a month or two where um, I wasn't getting any better. And he's actually told me since, um, he did actually question whether I'd gone too far down the wrong path where I might never get back. The biggest thing with Ian was when we started working together and I was playing terrible. I was playing really bad and we were struggling but we were in it together. We had a, you know, a friendship and you've got like a big loyalty there where we knew like it was me and him and we were in it together and whatever it takes we'll do it. By the time 2016 had finished, 2017 was starting, felt like I was so ready to to win again or do well and that was sort of the main goal of the year. I think 67 was the low round of the day today. This was the turning point. His whole diddly squat to here. The tenth. Little pitch is third shot. It always looked quite good and ended up very good. And suddenly the tides were going with him. Playing on that Sunday and down that back nine felt so good and so confident in my game. In a sense, that was come back complete from all the work we'd done and getting back from a place where you really didn't want to be. Far by and he knew this had to go, he knew it had to go. Just inside right. In she went, finished birdie, par birdie, back in 31, 67, best round of the day, he was a deserved champion. And it was quite exhausting actually, winning for the first time in a few years. When you're playing, you're, your adrenaline's up so you don't think too much about it, but afterwards, enjoying it and realising what we've done. And so typical of Tommy as well that he said he's almost more pleased for his caddy Ian Finnis than he was for himself. It gave me opportunities then, it got me into Mexico which was then one of my biggest results of the year, which then got me into the Masters which has always been a dream. Just catapulted the whole year really. You have steps that you want to take in your career and in your in your life. 
my ultimate goal has always been I want to be the best player in the world. Whether I get there or not is another question. I haven't reached my potential yet, but I don't know what my potential is.